Hello, this is Brandy, aka Pixelated Twix. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. And if you're an OG, welcome back to my little corner of Al Gore's internet. Yes, we're back with another episode of Dragon Age Origins. Uh, the last time we left off, we had got in uh, into a bit of a scuffle. Well, we didn't get into the scuffle. We walked into Orzammar and there was a scuffle in front of us. And we were basically told that if we needed to hear, um, get anything from the dwarves, then we need to basically settle what's going on here. Meaning we have to talk to the fighting factions that are within Orzammar. So now we're here just basically walking around, getting to know the place, getting to know the people, um, picking up a few quests, getting into some trouble in the meantime. Um, I'm going to go over here and talk to Brother Burkle. So let's get going. Maker's blessing on you, sister. Maker's blessing to you, sir. Uh, I don't believe in the Maker. No, she does. Um, may his divine spirit always light your way. Ah, it's a great pleasure to meet a fellow believer. I'm Brother Burkle of the Red Cliff Chantry, returned to my ancestors' land to spread the chant of light. I'm petitioning to open a chantry in Orzammar. Oh, yeah? Uh, whose permission do you need to open the chantry? Wait a minute. Don't dwarves worship their ancestors or something? There is... A Resistance. I'm sure. It's obvious the world wasn't created by the mortal souls who dwelt within it. Yet the dwarves of Orzammar persist in worshipping their own forefathers. First of all, the nug in the background. Really? Um. Okay, whose permission do you need? The Shaper it controls changes in Orzammar's structure and society. I need the Shaper of Memory's permission to open a prayer meeting. Okay, do you want me to talk to him for you? Oh, I'd hoped you'd say that. I can see the Maker's hand on your shoulder, guiding you always. Please, let me know as soon as you've heard anything. Of course. I'll do that right away. Uh, well, as soon as I can. Okay, let's get this nug. They're cute, but they're just a little noisy. Can we go in here? No. Uh, do we need to talk to this guy now? I think we already talked to Legner. So let's get out here. Yes, let's go. I like Orzammar, but there's a lot of loading screens, so um, that's the only drawback to coming here. Um, let's just take a little bit. Okay, this is Dust Town. Yes. Okay. Um, there's. Okay, I guess we're gonna have to greet this crowd here. There's a oh, rich one. okay. We'll okay. get plenty for their kid once we cut them out. Let us end this. I'll get on. Right then. Got it. It's a good day. Uh, okay, I'll die. Go. Oh, your guard, Rex. You'll need no mercy from me. Watch in horror as I rip you apart. All right, all right. <laughs> uh, that's all you had? It was a dagger? No wonder you were trying to rob me. Um, I was hoping I'd be able to loot your body. Let's talk to Rajik? Rojik? Who are you? You don't look like any guardsman I ever saw, and that's not much of a uniform. Okay, um, I'm Malaria, a Grey Warden. Oh. You looking for a chance to bring in some coin? Mm. Could be I have that opportunity. Especially for someone with a few connections above ground. Oh, really? Um, hmm. I'd like to hear what you're asking. Uh, no offense, but your kings have some laws that don't make sense in a practical kind of world. Like about who gets to buy and sell Lyrian, the sacred gift the stone provides us to show her love. No law should regulate that. The laws are meant to keep mages away from the stuff, so there's always buyers in the Circle Tower. I got one man named Godwin. He's expecting a delivery of a stone's weight. You want an investment opportunity? Uh, I could see fit to, say, sell you that lyrium instead at the reasonable price of 50 sovereigns. What is you can keep it or... Since you can travel freely from here, sell it to Godwin, 
who you know is buying. And uh, if you bring back his return order, I could pay you, uh, say, 20 sovereigns as a finder's fee. Okay, why do you sound like you're from the shy? Um, persuade, let's see, 50 is a bit much when you've got no options. Um, hmm, smuggling is illegal, I'm turning you in. Okay, we, we're a little, we need some coin, and I, I'm, is she desperate for it? Probably not. I think she's fairly honorable where she would not take this deal and she would turn him in. Okay, so we're going with option four. I don't think so. Boys! Oh, but I do. Oh, okay. We must have victory. <laughs> <laughs> Nope, no score. But uh Here, look at this. Do you know what this is? Uh a, a rose? I picked it in Lothering. I remember thinking, how could something so beautiful exist in a place with so much despair and ugliness? I probably should have left it alone, but I couldn't. The Darkspawn would come, and their taint would just destroy it. So I've had it ever since. Um, and what do you intend to do with it? I thought that I might give it to you, actually. In a lot of ways, I think the same thing when I look at you. Aww. Um, feeling a little thorny, are we? Oh, wow. She'll never see through that, I told myself. Boy, was I wrong. Um, thank you, Alistair. It's a lovely thought. I'm glad you like it. I was just thinking, here I am doing all this complaining, and you haven't exactly been having a good time of it yourself. You've had none of the good experience of being a Grey Warden since you're joining. Not a word of thanks or congratulations. It's all been death and fighting and tragedy. <clears throat> I thought maybe I could say something. Tell you what a rare and wonderful thing you are to find amidst all this darkness. Aww. I feel the same way about you. I'm glad you like it. Now, if we could move right on past this awkward, embarrassing stage and get right to the steamy bits, I'd appreciate it. All right, let's go. Off with the armor then. Ha <laughs> ha Bluff called. Damn, she saw right through me. <laughs> um, you're so cute when you're bashful. I'll be... <laughs> I'll be standing over here until the blushing stops. Just to be uh, safe. You know how it is. Okay, that had to have been like the awkward conversation because she's like bent over like that. Okay. Oh, he had 20 gold on him. Heck yeah. Um, we needed that. Uh, let me save it. You know? <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, so can we talk to you? Oh. What's... Whoever you're looking for, it's not me, I swear. Okay. Um, look at me gliding. That is so weird. <laughs> that is so weird. Can I like switch? Uh uh. Okay, we'll we'll be gliding like this for a little while. I idle door. Your clothes are so fancy. Did you get them topside? Uh yes I did. My ma'am used to say they don't got no stone to protect them topside. If I go up there, I'm a gonna fall into the sky. Are you gonna? Um just hold on real tight with your feet. Yes. <laughs> when my doll left, he never came back. Who's to say he didn't fall up, eh? I have to go now. Don't fall into the sky when you go back up there. Sure. Uh, why do we look like we're about to fight? Warrior stance one. Um, let's talk to Nadez. Whatever. Let's talk to her. Well, look at that. It's not often old Nadez sees a fine dressed stranger here in Dust Town. Help a poor cripple. Uh, uh, 
Yeah, here's five silvers. Buy yourself some food. You're as kind as you are beautiful. I owe you when I get back on my feet. If my feet still worked. Mm. It takes a stranger to notice how bad things are, huh? No dwarf would lift a sodding finger. Excuse my language. What takes you out of the diamond quarter, stranger? You got a vice you're looking for old Nadezda to fill? Um, tell me about Dust Town. It's pretty much as you see it. The raw stone where the castless live, because we're not welcome elsewhere. You're born to wear a branded face in Orzammar, and you'll live your life in Dust Town. Um, and what do you mean by brand? Means you don't exist. It tells everyone who sees you not to work with you, not to serve you, and not to care if you're hurt. Wow. The Deep Lords burn it into us the day we're born, so no one accidentally oversteps her place. Well, um, how did you get crippled? I'd say it was an accident, try to get some sympathy coin, but you look like you'd rather hear the truth. I was running protection for the Carta when some guardsmen caught me. Duster I was with had coin for a bribe, but I took a stand. Guardsmen broke my sodding kneecaps and had me kneel in dung until the infection set in. Never healed proper. Hmm. Can they just get away with that? I don't know where you're from, but in Orzammar, castless have no lineage. So it's no crime to hurt you. You're born to wear a branded face in Orzammar, and you'll live your life in Dust Town. Okay, where's a body go to get drunk around here? <laughs> if you have that kind of coin, Sal Roca, you don't want to drink what they've got here. Take yourself up to Tapsters. Long as your face isn't branded, they've got anything you want. Okay, I should get going. I'll just stay out of your way then. All right. Um, I'm glad Morgan wasn't with us because she wouldn't have liked that. Um, let's go in here. Maybe that'll correct the uh nope it didn't um well let's go in here and see what's in here oh a chest a bow um chest some arrows anything else in here nope anything else nope oh gosh she looks so weird um i let's see assembly directive what's that okay um, I think, oh, yeah, let's talk to this person. Spare a bit for the needy? Please, it's not, ha have you a coin to spare, my lady? I do. It's for my son. He's sick. He hasn't any clean clothes to wear or anything to eat today. Neither have I. Um, well, here's five silvers. Buy yourself a meal. Wait, why doesn't your son... His father help you? A question I ask every day. He was eager enough for a daughter who would bring him into the mining cast. Oh. But since the boy was born, I've not seen nose or heel of the lout. And me alone on the street, forbidden to return to my family unless I... But no, I can't bear to even think of it. Um... You seem... Well, what does your family want you to do? My son's father is castless. As is he. I used to be a miner, but my parents stripped my caste and refused to accept me back. Unless I agree to abandon the child in the deep roads and pretend I never bore him. Wow, that's crazy. That is horrible. Um, maybe I could reason with your family. Y you would do that? Yeah. But why? I mean, I don't like to see a child suffer. And I cannot offer enough gratitude. But I warn you. My father is a stiff-necked man. His name is Ordell, and he's usually at Tapsters in the evening. I do not think he will listen to you. But I will wait anxiously to see if you can do what you promise. You know, that's pretty frickin' ridiculous and disgusting. Like, how would you... How could you just... I mean, I... As, as much as I like the lore of this, these people, I can't stand their ways. Like, yeah. Um, this door appears to be made of solid stone. There are no visible means of opening it. Continue. On closer inspection, there is a small slat concealed in a fold of the stone, just big enough for a finger. Uh, look through the slot. You see nothing but blackness. Do nothing. Okay, um, we'll have to come back to this. 
All right, uh, we're going to head out. You're going to go back uh, up. I guess we will try to talk to either Haramount or um, the other guy. I forget his name, Balin. Um, hopefully that little walking glitch will be... Nope, it is not. <laughs> All right. Um... Drunken dwarves. What could be the harm in a few of those? Oh, wait a minute. Where are we supposed to go to a bar? Yeah, tapsters. Um... I tried dwarven ale once. I thought it was just something they tricked surfaces into drinking as a joke. It's not good then. Um, who do we talk to? Cora? I trust Vala, stranger. You must Vala. be the Grey Warden we heard about. Welcome to Tapsters. Thank you. I'm Cora, your hostess. How may I serve you? Um, I'm looking for someone. I? Maybe I can help. Okay. Um, I'm looking for a man named Ordell. He's the one in the corner, still dusty from the mines. Don't expect him to be chatty. That's okay. Um, we're gonna chat with him anyways. Who's this? This is Ordell. Um, okay, we'll talk to Ordell. What are you looking at, stranger? Looking at you, sir. Are you Ardell? I could be. What business is it of yours? Hmm. He's a he's a happy go lucky guy. Um yeah, what kind of monster throws this child out in the street? Oh, I'm the monster, mm -hmm. not the castless wretch that filled my daughter with his brat. I've got a family and a reputation to protect. I'm not letting one stupid girl drag us all down. <laughs> I mm. Should I intimidate or persuade? Let's persuade. If you don't take Zerlinda back, she'll die. What? You think she'd die just to keep that thing? She knows what she has to do to come home. I never wanted her gone. Just the little cur. Can't she see she'd have a better life if she got rid of it? He's a baby, not a cur, and she loves him. Look, just tell her... We never meant to hurt her. It just seemed best that... Oh, just tell her to come home. Her mother and I are waiting for her. You In never meant to hurt her? Never. They're everywhere. I can't take it. Uh, hello? What? Get away. You'll change like the rest. Monsters hidden in all my friends. Um, what are you talking about? They follow you. Once you are in the story, they possess your friends and follow. See? I found copies. All from the same pen and older than the ones in song. Dormant my ass. Take them. I want out. I oh, won't disappear chasing a lie. I won't. Okay. Ew. Um, Lord Helmy? Let's talk to him. Lord Denek Helmy, honored desher of the Orzammar Assembly, and terrible disappointment to my esteemed mother, who doesn't like me spending time in taverns. Mm. You understand what I'm saying, right? Sure. On the surface, there are no casts, and it works fine. Am I right, Warden? Yeah. Uh, huh. Things are hardly equal on the surface. But there are those like you who see this with concern, No. Well, I've taken the time to actually talk to the other casts. Yeah? You know, most smiths and tavern keeps would make decent dashes if we gave them a chance and a seat in the assembly. Or Zamar is so mired in tradition, no one bothers asking if the casts are even necessary. So, how does this caste system work anyways? Badly. Oh, you're serious? Well, yeah. it's simple, I guess. The king and elected deshers of the assembly are at the top. Then it's the nobles. Then the warriors and all the craftsmen. At the bottom are servants. The castless and criminals are below even that. Your caste is determined by that of your same-sex parent. And that's where you stay your whole life, whatever your skill. Okay, so you get to vote on the next king? Me and 79 other fine, upstanding examples of how someone who's born into every privilege inevitably wants more. They're not fond of my views on equality. Hmm. And who are you voting for? I doubt either candidate has been outside the diamond quarter in his life. But Lord Haramont seems a bit more 
forgiving. Prince Balin's brilliant, I'll give him that, and subtle as sin. But I don't think anything in Orzammar matters more to him than winning. Hmm, okay. I should get going. As you wish. Okay, I went ahead and reloaded because I got tired of seeing her bent over like that. Um, I th think that's all we need to talk to. Nevin? Did we talk to Nevin? I don't know. Let's talk to Nevin. Afternoon, stranger. You looking for a stool to share a brew? Um, and who are you? Name's Naveen. I Naveen? fight with Prince Balin's expeditionary field unit. Mm. Yourself? I'm Alaria Grey Warden. Figured as much. Good folks, Wardens. I was in the Deep Roads when that one came by. What was his name? Dukan, Dunka, uh, something like that. Uh, you knew Duncan? I met him, sure. Good man. Solid. He knows what we go through in the Deep Roads. Not many do. Not even the ones who live this close. You have to be on the front lines. Nice armor. Um, and who's your unit fighting? Darkspawn. Not much use in turning our weapons elsewhere while those vermin still live. Mm-hmm. I've never been to the Deep Roads. Every Grey Warden ends up there. That's where they send you when you're ready to leave this world. Go die in the dark, putting away as many vermin as you can. Getting more crowded these days, though. Lots of people interested all of a sudden. We go back tomorrow, and we're not the only ones. Hmm. Well, thanks for that. Wait, wait. Who's sending you out? Balin ordered us in at first bell. He's splitting us into four teams to search for some of the lost tigs. Looking for signs of Bronca, I guess. Seems to be who everyone's after. All right. Well, thanks for the drink, but I should go. Watch yourself. Orzammar politics are getting near as dangerous as battle. <laughs> You didn't have to tell me twice. I saw what it happened. Um, just look around to see. I don't see if I don't have anybody else to talk to. Doesn't look like it. Let's head out. And I think where we're gonna go try to find either Lord Balin or uh, Haramount. We did we talk to her? Let me look at my journal. That girl. Uh, what was it? Seek out, uh, unlikely scholar. Bring Dagna's request to the Circle of Magi. Okay, so we need to go to the circle, but we won't do that right now. Um, I, I guess we can, can we go this way? Oh, there's a nug. You know, Wynn, I have a friend back in Antiva who would be very excited to meet you. I'm sorry. Salveil prefers women with experience and maturity. Mm. He says they have more substance, are more robust and flavorful. Mm? Does he now? Indeed. No need to deny it. Zevran knows a fine bird when he sees one. <laughs> I am not a bird. There is no reason to deny yourself the pleasure of male companionship, after all, yes? You might buck now, but I assure you, Salveil is a gentleman of means and quite handsome. I am going to walk away now. Calmly. <laughs> coolly. This is to save you the pain of having your brain forcibly removed through your <laughs> ears. This must be a Ferelden thing, I swear. Oh my gosh, that is hilarious. Alright, I wrangled an egg. Let's head into... Can, can we go here? Yeah. Let's go. I love Severin. I wish I had um, taken the time to try to up our... Approval rating with him. Um, all right, let's see. Approving fan. I want to talk to people that look like they know some things. Uh, what's in here? Something's in here. Can we go in here? Nope, that is locked. Um, looks like the only person that is worth talking to is this guy. Good day, stranger. Hello. Welcome to the Proving Arena. We're still closed until the fighters make their preparations, but come back this afternoon if you want to watch the show. Okay. Uh, sounds like fun. I'll come back then. Enjoy our grand city. Okay. Uh, I guess we can't really do anything in here right now, so let's head out. Did we come this way? Yeah. Um, yeah, nobody's in here worth talking to. And I guess I'll just have to make way to the, I think they said Diamond Corner. 
so we will do that. Um, Might I offer you a bit of advice, my good friend Alistair? I like my hair the way it is, mm -hmm. thank you. Truly, as you wish. Though my advice is regarding something else completely. It has to do with your recent exertions with your fellow Grey Warden mm -hmm. that I overheard. My... Oh. It did seem as if you just got going when all grew quiet. <laughs> you are feeling all right, yes? Uh, perhaps you're tired. We aren't talking about this, are we? Did I hit my head? I have some roots from home that you may chew if you need energy. As for volume, perhaps you ought to try arching your... Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Awkward. You Ferelden's are so finicky. How will you ever learn how to pleasure each other unless you talk about it? Not listening. La, 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 la. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. Okay, I'm going down this way. Um, this is locked? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me, commoner. Severin is hilarious. Poor Alistair. Commoner, commoner. Uh, I think we talked to these people. Oh, let's give him... Yeah. Go on, I'm out of the nug game. Got nothing to sell. I got a whole bunch of nugs for you. Saraka, I'm back in the game, such as it is. I don't have much besides gratitude, but find a bunch more of these and I'll toss you whatever I found. Sweet. Awesome. Only 12 silver. Thanks. Appreciate it. Diamond quarter, yeah. Kind of stingy. I mean, I'm wrangling nugs, naked mole rat bunnies. I mean, come on. It's up here. Mm hmm Stuff. Who are you? Guard. Noble. Alistair. Hi, Alistair. Did you get those roots to chew on? So uh the closer you live to the surface, the higher class you are. Unless you're actually on the surface. Yeah. Makes sense, doesn't it? Let's talk to a doll. What is... What is over oh. I was like, what is that? You have come at a difficult time. Orzammar is ailing for want of a king. Oh, okay. Guess she didn't really want to talk to us. Um, who do we have here? Questions arise regarding Lord Balin's impending yeah, marriage yeah. to a castless commoner. Who is this? Lady Dace. All right, like I said, we were going to talk to Lady Dace. I just had to quick a take break. Take quick a take break. Take a quick break. <laughs> This right. is dragged on too long. Oh. It's an insult to King Endrin's memory. That's all you had to say? Okay. I was hoping for a little bit more information, but, uh... Ooh, almost past this up. What was I thinking? What we got? Diamond Mall. Um, we already talked to... Okay, what's in here? Haramount's estate. Oh, we almost passed it up. All right. We want to come in here and talk to Haramount. I guess he'll be our first stop. Um, butler, the butler... Welcome to Lord Harriman's estate. You. Okay, that was it. Uh, um, can we can we just be nosy for a little bit? Let's check your check out your digs. Can we go in any place? Can we go in here? Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, nice, nice. Dang. Clear crystal. Nice. This place is kind of nice looking. Nice big bed. What is this? Scroll. I'm in his room being all nosy and stuff. Stealing stuff. Nobody's saying a thing. Just letting me go through. Who is Tercy? Hi, Tercy. You must be under great strain with the blight upon the land. I will pray to the stone for you. Mm, okay. Thank you. Um. I... Assume okay, wait. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, this guy, Doolin. I heard there was a Grey Warden here. Yeah. I am Doolin Forender. Hi. Second to Lord Harrowmont, King Endrin's own choice as successor. Word is spreading that the surface may suffer a blight. It is shameful we are not in a better position to help. But you could be. I have a treaty obliging Orzammar to aid against a blight. That may be, and that is a terrible risk for the surface. But even if the world would end tomorrow, Lord Harrowmont cannot ignore Balin today. Okay. He cannot afford to trust anyone of unproven loyalties. Hmm. Okay, well, uh, what do you want me to do? Denounce Balin publicly? 
If you wish to show you have no loyalty to Balin, then work against him in Harrowmont's name. Balin is hosting a proving today, supposedly to honor his father's memory. The Deshers take it very seriously, and unfortunately, Balin found some way to blackmail or intimidate House Harrowmont's best fighters into stepping down. Mm, okay, so... You want me to... Wait a minute. Do What do you want me to do? Do you want me to find out why the fighters are not fighting? Or you want me to enter? Um, well, first of all, why would your assembly care who wins some tournament? The Proving is a contest of the best warriors in Orzammar. By fighting, they show who has the ancestors' favor. I see. If you were to enter the Proving as Lord Harrowmont's champion, it would prove your loyalty beyond a doubt. <laughs> and this is to be your king. One who cannot keep his own men from running like frightened children. Hmm. Lord Harrowmont does not use threats or intimidation to motivate his men. He leads by example. Ah, I see. So it's his example they follow as they cower from this Prince Balin. Wow. How dare you slander Lord Harrowmont? Why should we ally ourselves with someone too scared even to grant us an audience? Um, you'd be nervous if someone was out to get you, too. I suppose not everyone can face death as undaunted as an Antiven. It's true. Then you agree to fight in Harrowmont's name. Balin would never work with anyone who humiliated him in that way. Harrowmont would have no fear of meeting with you, then. Okay. I will enter the Proving and see why the others withdrew. Excellent. The arena is located off the commons. Talk to the Proving Master and tell him you're entering Lord Harrowmont's roster. The key fighters we lost were Guidon and Beisel. You can look for them in the fighters' preparation chambers behind the ring. And be sure it's before the fights begin. After the first bout, no one may change the roster. Okay. If you need to find me again, I will wait in the Tapster's Tavern off the commons. There is no better place to hear gossip. Perhaps even word of your victory. Hmm. Oh, okay, I was gonna think. I was thinking Zevran might not have liked that. Um, can we go in here? It looks like it's unlocked. Yes. All right. Um, anything to loot? Not a dang thing. All right. Well, Zevran obviously does not like the fact that Haramount is hiding from Balin. But if I remember correctly, they both are hiding from each other. Also, if my memory serves me correctly. Um, he was quick to like switch sides when death um, was at his doorstep. If I, um, like I said, if I remember correctly, I, he was on the ground begging for mercy. So with information, I guess. Wait a minute. Where are we going? Okay, we're going this way. Um, let's see. Wall carving. Okay. House of Iduken. Lord Balin is the voice of change and defense. Lord Haramont is the voice this of This is the royal palace, then. And ruin. Hmm. What treasures could lie within? Hmm. I might have to switch up. <laughs> I think I said I, I wish I had romance to uh, Zevran, but I am starting to uh, reconsider that. Um, okay. Royal guards, the nobles. Anybody in here to talk to? You know I... Mm, royal, mm, no. Whoa, what was that? What was that? What was that? Uh, okay, well, we're gonna go in here. Now's better than later. Yeah. What the? Okay. Witness. Oh, oh. <laughs> Uh, I was not expecting her. No one's gonna fall. Oh, it sure won't be me. You do not have to You can get off my back. What? Send this. Die already. Okay, What's I. Going on? I, I don't know. The ancestors. Good on you, Warden. You caught them in the act. I guess desperate times drive people to strange things. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that, honestly. Yeah. Um, I don't remember that happening. Um, it's certainly been a while, but yeah, okay. 
let's hope that uh, we don't have any more issues. I'd like to be able to explore peacefully, please. I mean, there's a lot in here. Mm, okay. Flactory. Oh, okay. Um, We did not learn our lesson from the last time, so we're going to continue with the phylactery. We're going to take the vial. Uh, we're going to continue. All right. This won't take long. Nope. Ah! You have no skill, only desperation. Uh, <laughs> Just call me the Reaper. <laughs> get the you can get off yeah. Let's see some blood. Okay. Uh, when I need you to heal. Uh, heal Alistair. Um, I, you should probably heal yourself, to be honest. Um, yes. Okay. Ooh, she died. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Okay, let me drink. <laughs> Alistair, you drink. Severin, you drink. You need a big drink. You like. Um, Alistair, okay, I think you're okay for now. <laughs> nope, you need to drink. Like, you need a big drink. You need a big boy drink. Watch it. It's a gotcha. Yeah. Okay, these these guys hurt. Um Ooh. Okay, you need a drink. Um, you need a drink. And you need a drink. Actually, Zevran, you can use poisons, can't you? Um, let's activate this and I need you to use a poison. I don't even know if the poisons work on these guys, but we're going to try it. What is this? Is this a spirit? Um, okay, whatever. Okay, back to- You'll get no mercy from me! Oh, jeez. Severin's dead. No, Severin's not dead. Severin, take a potion. Okay, you take a potion. All right. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. Where to? That's it. My face. This won't take long. As you like. On it. <sighs> Did As I you not like. learn On my it. lesson? No, I didn't. Alistair, I need you to take a potion really quick. Please. Um. Let's see. Well, I don't know. No, I don't want him to taunt. Oops. Shield wall. And Zevran. All right. <laughs> Zevran, drink. Alistair can't drink. Alistair drink. Ah, oh, jeez. Ooh, now the fun part. This won't take long. No, oh, this is gonna take a long time. I don't even know if we're gonna make it through this. Pretty sure we're not. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Alistair's gonna die soon. Um, Zevran, you can drink again. On it. As you like. Alistair, can you drink? Nope, you cannot. Shoot. This won't take long. As you like. As you like. Wow, he's really like missing. You do know how to fight, don't you? Yeah, he does. Apparently, we're all dead. We're all dead. Ah, well, that's safe. Egats, we're all the way back here. Okay, we did go out. Of, okay, we're gonna go back in here. That sucks. Um, I'll just remember to save. News exit. of the hour. Two more clans endorse so Lord Balin how is it as the, the new king. Have a king. Change is inevitable. I they and it must voted on everything, king. or something like that. Hmm. I don't know. Not I guess you can have a king if you've. I don't know. I have no idea how monarch monarchies work, especially dwarven monarchies. Um. All right. So we're gonna go back in here. I suppose. We'll have to fight those one guys again. Can I get you a ladder? So we know they're coming. Back. Yeah, there they go. Okay. You idiot. This isn't the vault. No! Witnesses. Wait a minute. I'll he says something about a vault. A vault. Now all right so by 
the ancestors. Good on you, Warden. Thank you. You caught them in the act. Mm hmm I guess desperate times drive people to strange things. Yes, and you came right on time. I'll get on it. Like, conveniently, right on time. I could have used your help, you know. I really could have. All right, I'm not going to mess with that vial. Um, I just want to... Yeah, we can't. Okay. I'm not messing with that vial. <laughs> I'm leaving that vial alone. I will come back um, and deal with the vial later. But um, oh, definitely want to loot this stuff here. But I think this is the door with a vial in it, right? The vial, yes, the fact phylactery. We're going to leave that alone. We'll come back. <laughs> um, I think I want to switch up my party before I... Um, this is a throne of Orzammar. So we're in the throne room. Hmm, okay. There's nothing in here. Darn it. All right, well, I was hoping to find something, but um, what's over here? It's locked. Okay. All right. Wait a minute. What the? Okay. Um, is that? Hold. Okay. What? Um, not going to lie? I've never seen that before. <laughs> I'm absolutely curious what that opens up. Is there anything in here? I have no idea what that could have opened. Um, it obviously opens up something, but what? This door is locked, so I can't get in there without the key. What the heck did that open? That's the door I came in. I mean, I guess he's still standing there. Um, I mean, none of these rooms look... Is this open? No. Like, I've never, ever seen that before. Um, or I've never paid attention. I've walked across it and never paid attention. Nope. And we just came in through here. Okay, I don't have a clue what that opens. I assume maybe that has uh, something to do... With this room, that's locked. So maybe, I mean, I'll... See? That's crazy. Okay. Wait. No. Okay. I have to find out what that is. I really do. So I'm going to make sure I take note to come back and look at that. Because I want to know. Um, let me save really quick here and... Um, what's down here? <laughs> That's a lot of lava. I guess they just hope it never erupts. It is a lot of lava. Okay, uh, let's go in here. Chamber of the Assembly. Um, Vartak? Who's Vartak? What was I supposed to have? I guess? Warden, welcome. Mm. It is always a blessing for Orzammar to host your order. Why, thank you. I am Vartak Gavorn, top advisor to our good Prince Balin. Thank you. What news do you bring? Um, I don't even know who you are. Hmm. This treaty obliges Orzammar to send troops to the surface. Ah, ancient documents indeed. Mm -hmm. These were signed in the reign of Ithnar Bimo, paragon and king. That was 16 generations ago. Okay. Now, the difficulty is that the treaty only compels our king, and we are sadly lacking one of those right now. Okay. Um, can I talk to Balin? You must understand. Haramont hides behind his good reputation while sending spies and assassins. Balin can't know who to trust. I'm sure you're it's doing the same. It's been like a knife in the heart for Balin. To see so many of his father's men stand with the usurper. I bet it is. You sound so convincing. Um, I thought King Enderin himself supported Haramont. That hurts worst of all. That Haramont would take advantage of the dying king's delirium to plant such poisonous suspicions against his own son. Mm. After that, 
You understand why Balin cannot trust the word of a stranger. Yeah. However reputable that stranger might be. You sound so trustworthy. Um, then I will have to seek my aid from Harriman instead. Wait. We must be cautious about whom to trust. But perhaps we could find a way. Oh, yeah? Haramont has engaged in a campaign of bribery and coercion to ensure that every house serves him. But if a neutral party, a stranger, were to approach certain key members, perhaps with irrefutable evidence of Haramont's deception... Irrefutable evidence? Which I suppose you have? I'm certain my Lord Prince would show his gratitude. I'm sure. What kind of evidence? Haramont promised the same portion of his estate to two different deshers, Lady Dace and Lord Helmy. Mm. Haramont can't possibly grant it to both of them, but they won't find out until after the vote is cast. I have copies of the promissory notes Haramont gave each of them. Once they see those, they should both reconsider their votes. I'll have to think about this. Don't expect this offer to last. If my prince hears you swore allegiance to his enemy, he won't be so friendly next time. I will be here if you change your mind. Was that a threat, sir? Hmm? Was was that a threat? Huh. Yeah, I, I don't think I'll be so... The assembly is in session. Enter quietly if you wish to observe. Sure, okay. Well. Your mind has gone to dust if you think we would pass such a writ. Half our houses would go broke without the surface trade. The proposal is only effective until we have a king to ensure we are respected by the surfacers. Leaving you conveniently positioned to take over all contracts. I'll see your head on a pike first. Deshers, lords and ladies of the assembly. I've already doubled the guard to prevent violence. Must I summon more? Steward Bandalore, Balin's sympathizers are tying our hands with trivialities. They may as well open us to the sky. I suggest we put the matter to a vote. And I suggest you have a taste of my family's mace. Enough. The assembly is in recess until the members can regain control of their emotions. Okay. Um. Let's see. All right, there is definitely trouble brewing in this um, in this city, um, and no split has ever been good for any any faction. So if we don't get things settled, there will definitely be civil war, and uh, that doesn't help our cause either. Because, well, we need the help of the dwarves to defeat the dark spawn. Um, I. Do believe we have to go in here anyways, so we'll definitely do that. All right, shaper it. It is. Oh, Dave, who would dare take from the memories? Oh, I thought I was being called a thief. I was like, what? What do I do? Gordon, I'm outraged. Mm -hmm. A thief in the shaper it. What have we been reduced to? Uh, uh, did you get a good luck at him? I did. He was bald, with the most garish brand across his head. Almost like he took pride in being castless. Imagine. Mm, imagine. Ah, he's probably in the slum somewhere. As if he'd find a buyer for a stolen tome in Dust Town. They couldn't know the value. Uh, okay. Well, I guess I'm looking for someone. Uh, what is that? Shaper cataloger. I'm quite busy. Okay. Please do not disturb me. No problem. Okay, I guess you're busy too. Let's talk to Orta. Oh, um, pardon me. Were you looking for a particular volume? No. Not that I could really help. I um, don't know the libraries very well. I'm just doing some research. Okay, what kind of research? I was looking for something about the Orton Taig. It was lost during the last blight, and there aren't many records left. They were a noble house once, descended from the Paragon Orton, who composed the grand epic of the Seven Brothers and the Ortonic Symphony. My mother's family believes they were descended from Kalana Orton, who was training in Orzammar when the Taig fell. I'm even named for the house, Orta. Unfortunately, any records would be buried in the Taig's ruins, somewhere in the deep roads. Um, I could try to find them. You're from the surface. What do you know about fighting Darkspawn? No. There aren't even any expeditions planned until they settle this election. Otherwise, you need special permission from the Assembly or some great lord. I'm a Grey Warden. A Grey Warden? 
Mother always said that if anyone could find the Taig, it was the <clears throat> Wardens. I hear Prince Balin and Lord Harrimont have both been sending out small teams these days. Yes, if you can find the Taig in any records, that could do it. That could prove I'm a noble. If you could, maybe now that you're looking, it's almost too much to hope. Boy, dwarves are really quick to uh, judge people, aren't they? Hmm. Can we talk to him? I'm sorry. Shh. I'm doing very important work. Okay. Be very, very quiet. Um, I guess I can't talk to you either. Let's talk to the Shaper himself. When I last walked this hall, Endrin was king and Orzammar was at peace. The memories often speak of the swiftness with which change overtakes us. But it is different to see it firsthand. I apologize, Warden. I should not burden a stranger with such thoughts. I am Zebor, the Shaper of Memories. How do you know who I am? The Grey Warden's visit has been recorded in the memories, along with all who accompany you. Mm. I would like your permission to open a chantry here. That is an odd request, especially for one so new to our city. I come on behalf of Brother Burkle, a cleric of Redcliffe. I thought so. This is not the first time he's made this plea. My answer to Brother Burkle hasn't changed. So I ask you the same. On what basis would you have me insult the ancestors and overturn 2,000 years of tradition? The Chantry Charities could greatly aid Orzammar. What sort of charities do you mean? Well, uh, let's see. The Chantry cares for widows and orphans. Traditionally, that is their extended family's responsibility, but sometimes people fall through the cracks. Very well. He may hold a prayer meeting as he requested, if not build a new temple to his god. At least the words would come from one of our own. Now, is there anything more? Um, no. Thank you for your time. I will record this conversation in the memories. I hope I do not come to regret it. Me too. Because... Just me too. Yep. Okay. Um... I'm going to go ahead and look at all these books. I'm just going to click on them. I'm not going to read anything because that would just be sheer boredom to a lot of people. All right, all right. So let's just get the books. I love memories. Now is better than later. Um, the dwarves, I think, are the Can most traditional so of back. all the factions. But, I, I mean... Got it. Yeah, I would say they're the most traditional out of all the factions, even the elves, and we haven't met them yet, not officially. I mean, you've met Zevran, but Zevran is not an elf of the, um, the, the traditional kind. He is a city elf, if, um, if that means anything to you right now. But I'll get on it. Oh, search for the true prophet. I don't know who that would be. I'll take it. I'm not sure to give that to. It's a gift. But, um, yeah, they they pray to um, the stone that is their god. And um, they record everything here, which is what's called the shaper it. Um, the, what it means to be castless is basically each family has a cast, like a blacksmithing cast or what have you. And... I think I explained this last time. If you break any laws um, concerning Orzammar, or if you disgrace your family, you could lose your caste and become casteless, and then your face is tattooed. Um, yeah, it's to show that you are casteless and that you have been shunned. And you Lord Haramont said to have kicked casteless in the street. Does he respect none beneath his station? Oh, jeez, be quiet. Um, yeah, I forgot what I was saying before Big Mouth spoke Lord at... Lord Balin suspected of personally defacing statues yeah, yeah, of the yeah. Paragons. Shocking allegations It'll be about... two years tomorrow. By all the holy sodding ancestors, how can you people just ignore that? Bronca didn't go alone, Ogren. She took the whole house, everybody but you. So just get over to Tabsters and drown yourself already. You know as well as I do, that's how this always ends. You think I'm afraid of some cub warrior who's barely off the teach? Ha! <laughs> I'll 
You lift a weapon or attack a single citizen in Orzammar, and you're stripped of your caste and exiled. Even you can't have forgotten that. Get out of here before I call a guardsman. Hmm. Can I talk to you? Can you believe it? Algren's barely even warrior cast anymore, and he just clomps in here like he's entitled. Uh, and who are you? I'm Loylanor Ivo, warrior, which is more than I can say for that useless sod. Hmm. And, uh, what do you mean barely warrior cast? Well, he killed Lord Mino's youngest son in a duel to first blood. It was a huge scandal. Ogren should have been executed, but he'd won honors in the deep roads. Mm. Instead, they stripped him of all weapons and forbid him from engaging in fights within city limits. If he breaks the decree, he'll be exiled. Mm. Who's Bronca? The only paragon in the last four generations. Quite an honor for a girl from the Smith cast. Mm. And why did Bronca go in the deep roads? Chasing some old treasure. She was quite secretive. Outright rude, really. She said she never asked to found a house, that she didn't care about politics, and that we were too self-absorbed to defeat the Darkspawn. She actually threatened anyone who said they'd come after her. Hmm. And what were you guys arguing about? It's been two years since Bronca left. No one has ever stayed in the deep roads that long and survived. The search teams who went out found nothing, but... Ogren wants to keep risking lives searching. Okay. Well, why does Ogren care so much about Branca? <sighs> She's still his wife, isn't she? Oh. Even if she took their entire house into the deep roads and abandoned him. Okay. I should get going. If you see any guardsmen, tell them Ogren was at it again. No. Take care of it yourself. I'm not... Stepping into that. Do I need to talk to anybody over here? Not. Okay. I think I'm going to go ahead and end it here, guys. Um, next time we convene, we're going to go ahead and try to get this quest done for Harrowmount and talk to the people that we need to. Um, yeah. But if you are not a subscriber and you would like to hang out with us a little bit longer, I do hope you consider hitting that subscribe button and that notification bell so you know every time I upload. I upload at least three times a week. And I hope you enjoyed this episode of Dragon Age. Until next time, ciao.